What is going on, everybody? We are going to be going over all special evolutions that have been brought in the Teal Mask for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So let's get into it. So first things first, let's go over the friendship evolutions. I'll keep in mind, a lot of these you can find in the wild in their final stage. So some of them you don't even have to worry about leveling up. Now, the friendship evolutions, we do have a little bit of a setup here. We have Chinko, we have Swaddle, we have Munchlax, we have Clefairy. Now, you can go ahead and just picnic, feed them sandwiches, play with them, do the go battle, make sure you, they hold a soothe bell, and feed them berries. The berries that normally help the most are going to be those friendship or EV reducing berries. It is the best way if you do need to get berries. I do have a video on the channel I'll put in the card above to go ahead and help you get berries if that's the route you're wanting to go. Make sure your friendship's all the way up with these guys and then just level them up and they'll go ahead and evolve. You can find all of these evolutions in the wild, so don't really have to worry about those. So now for some trade evolutions. We do have a Milotic. If you do get a Feebas, you will just give them the Prison Scale. Dustclops, you'll go ahead and give it the Reaper Cloth. And Politoed will be the King's Rock. You'll need to have them holding the item and then trade them away. And that is how they're going to be evolving. You can also just trade these into the game if you want. There is one static encounter with Melodic. I didn't catch it on this one. But you can go ahead and catch a Melodic. Feebas is going to be in a tunnel up on top of the mountain. Now Graveler and Conkelder are going to be also trade evolutions, just not having to hold an item. You can go ahead and bring all these guys in from different games. You will need to trade to go ahead and get them to evolve. So now it's time for some stone evolutions. These are a little bit easier, but you could actually run into some problems if you don't have these. You can go back to the mainland of Paldea and get some of these from the stores to go ahead and make the evolution easier. But just keep in mind, if you are looking for like ice stones and stuff, they're a little bit more rare. And honestly, I thought I was just going to have to come in here, have all the XL candies I needed and knock out every single evolution. So these caught me off guard. Now, there are going to be at least two water stone evolutions. You have Lombre into Lunicolo. You're going to have Poliwhirl into Poliwrath. Since he is a split evolution, you do have that King's Rock to go ahead and shove him off into Politoed. With a Leaf Stone, you are going to be evolving Victory Bell into Weeping Bell. You can go ahead and just click on these. And like you can see, it does just say Can Use. And then you can go ahead and evolve it. Go ahead, go into Weeping Bell, into Victory Bell. And that is actually going to be a nice Gen 1 evolution here. And it can actually be very early on that you can get this. So now some more stone evolutions. We do have the Litwick line, which goes ahead and uses a Dusk Stone. You can find a Lampa in the wild, but getting into that Chandelure, you are going to need to evolve one with a Dusk Stone. And then we do have Nuzleaf with a Leaf Stone to go ahead and evolve into Shift Tree. Shift Tree, this generation in this DLC, its hidden ability actually changed from Early Bird to Wind Rider. So... It's the same ability as Bramblegast, which is very interesting that they changed his hidden ability, but it is going to be that Wind Rider ability now. So it is going to be a massive change. And then we do have a Thunderstone with that Charger Bug Nose Pass. One interesting fact about Nose Pass in this game is every single one you look at is facing north. All of them are facing the same way, which is very nice because they do have to go north, which is very nice. So then Charger Bug into Vika Vault is going to be that Thunderstone. We're using a lot of stones here to go ahead and knock out a lot of these evolutions. So let's go ahead and move on to the move only evolutions. So now it's time for the special moves. These are going to be the Pokemon that need to have a specific move on them to go ahead and evolve. Paloswine is going to need to know Ancient Power. It is going to be a remember move, so you need to make sure you do remember the move and put it on him because he won't have it normally. And then you can come in, grab you a rare candy, level him up, and then he will evolve into Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine is going to be a massive pickup in this generation because it's an ice ground type, and it's just so powerful that I'm so happy it's back. But Mammoth Swine is going to be there with the Ancient Power. So let's go ahead and move on to Yanma. So just like Palo Swine, you're going to need that Ancient Power on Yanma. Go ahead and evolve him. It is going to be a remember move just like last time. Just like with the Mammoth Swine, it will need to be remembered to go ahead and put it on there. Now, one thing I will say whenever you are using this mod, if you have the Shiny, I would highly recommend just keeping it as a Yanma because the blue is amazing and in the, and in the Yanmega. 
it definitely falls off on the shiny scale. But onto Ambipom. Ambipom needs to have double hit. It normally comes with double hit, but if yours doesn't, then you will need to go ahead and put that on. Once it does have double hit, you go ahead, give it a rare candy, and bam, it goes ahead and evolve. You might not think it needs the move, but it does, so that's something you definitely need to keep in mind, and just watch out for if your Ambipom is not going and evolving. So let's go ahead and get on to the special item evolutions. So now it's time for the special item evolutions. First off, we're gonna be going with Driplin. If you come all the way to the bottom right, there will be this little shack that sells you delicious syrup apples. You're gonna have to buy one each time you wanna go ahead and evolve it. Sometimes you can find some apple in here, but normally it's not. So you go ahead, buy it, it'll pop up in your bag. And in between your tart and sweet apple, you're gonna have this syrupy apple. What you can see is actually the tart apple, sweet apple, they all of them can work here, but your syrupy apple is gonna give you that driplin and we can go ahead and use it. So this is a shiny applin getting into the driplin, which its signature move actually changes color based on the shiny. So that's actually very interesting. And this is a top tier shiny. I highly recommend going to get one. Now Gligar is gonna be needing to hold the Razor Fang. And the only way to get that is actually working on your Pokedex. If you work on your Pokedex and you go ahead and claim some of the rewards underneath, you're gonna get your Apricorn Balls some XP candy, some proteins and stuff, but that's where you're gonna get your prism scale, your reaper cloth, and your razor fang. Give him the razor fang, he'll go ahead and evolve. So let's move on to Sinistra. So Sinistra is the new evolution form of Poltergeist, and it actually just reverses what Sinistry does. It goes from the cup to the pot, and this one goes from the pot to the cup, but it goes ahead and evolves, and there is gonna be two items for it. Now, what I have found so far is this Masterpiece Teacup is for that authentic form. They're gonna have a little mark on the bottom, a lot more rare, but this Masterpiece Teacup is gonna be for that form. The form I currently have came from a different piece teacup. I can't remember what the actual name of it was, but if you come here on the map, I can guarantee you it will be in this cave. This is the Paradise Barrens. If you come here, which you will for a story mission because you will need to interact with this sign. So when you come here, go ahead, just look right from the sign, go in this cave. If you have already gone in here and collected the item, you already have it, but pick up that item and then you'll be able to use that on Sinistra. That is how you're gonna get your new ghost and grass type Pokemon. But if any of this helped you out, go ahead, let me know in the comment section down below. Which new Pokemon are you super happy about being in the DLC? Mine's going to be this Driplin. Driplin Shiny is amazing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.